Well, first of all, I, I couldn't be more proud of our team. Um, good Lord's blessed me with a great group of young ladies. And uh, we're going to give God the glory for the victory today, but I'm going to give him the glory for the blessing of this group. I mean, their energy, uh, how hard they played today. I mean, I think everybody in this room and everybody out in that room out there if you couldn't see a team that played their absolute guts out for 40 minutes, I mean, Rory not only ran our team, but she guarded maybe the best two guard in the country uh, for 40 minutes. Just relentless. Booker is a freshman. She hadn't played 40 minutes, sometimes in two games combined, because we've had games where I could play my bench. She goes for 40 tonight. Did I get you out ever? Mm -mm. Amina is the same way. She doesn't come out unless she's in foul trouble. I thought Amina and Taylor both had big buckets for us in the second half. We were kind of dying on the vine a little bit, and, and they got some rebound stickbacks for us. Rory had a great feed into Amina. But, man, Connecticut is so good. Coach, obviously, is a tremendous coach, does such a great job with them, and um, – they're just hard to handle. Like, they run so much. There's not enough time in the day or the week. And we've had three days to go through everything. You just have to go through actions. I can remember having to worry about them, you know, back in 17. And we just – you can only go through actions. You, you just don't have enough time to go through every set. And they're so good, and they spread you out. And obviously, the second half, we did not play near as well defensively. We gave up. We gave up a few back doors, and uh, um, it was, uh, you know, they shot 78%, I think, in the fourth quarter. Um, and so we, we just, you know, it, it, when it was fast, Lord, they were coming down one pass and it was a dunk. Um, it just, that's not real easy on a coach over there when they're not having to use any clock at all. But I thought we had an answer. I thought our kids were responded in every run, every run they made. Um, our free throws, obviously, Rory making free throws down the stretch. That's her job. She's got to do that. I don't want anybody else to have the ball in her hands, in their hands when somebody's trying to press us or foul us. And she's got to be better there. And she was better tonight. Um, but I just thought our kids uh, were really locked in. Um, Coach Lovato had to scout. I think Blair helped her a little bit with some out-of-bounds stuff. But – I thought our kids were really ready. I think our kids would tell you they were really ready. And um, I just, I, I, again, have so much respect and admiration for Coach and his team and his program. And, um, again, it's hard to convey that to your team. I had to tell them before we took the floor, you know, it's a non-conference game. Let's don't get all tied up. You can't play, y'all, if you're all tied up. You have to be able to relax and play the game. And I thought our kids, man, y'all saw the execution that they came out with offensively. The shots that we got early really showed me that they get it. I think there's probably some question in the room by some of y'all about who we've played and how good they are or they aren't. And we, we can't help it, you know, if somebody's had some injuries or that kind of thing. We just play who's on the schedule. And I think tonight these kids answered the question – are they that good? And uh, when they play like they played tonight, y'all, we score 80 points the rest of the year. I'm going to tell you, we're going to be playing for a long time. I don't know if we can score 80 tonight, but we did tonight against a team that I have a great deal of respect for defensively. Like, I think they're really good defensively. They don't ever talk about it, but they should because his kids play extremely hard. They play really hard. And uh, they play really hard defensively. And they're smart. I thought Edwards was really good for them. We obviously struggled defending her a little bit. And uh, I thought she was just relentless, even with her foul trouble. But, and I, I, I love these kids. They're, they're, they obviously played their hearts out tonight. And I thought our intentionality throughout the game, we understood where we were, what we needed to do, and I thought we did it. Um, and I think that's that's a good sign for this group. Again, y'all have to remember, we still don't have first team all Big 12 playing. Gaston's not played yet. She's going to play Wednesday night, in case you want to know, Danny. So 
she's cleared for, for Wednesday, barring anything that happens. But this team has persevered through some, you know, of our own. And, uh, man, I just couldn't be more proud of them. Like I said, God's blessed me with a really special group of kids. And, man, that effort out there tonight, how can you not see his flame in them and how they played tonight? Because they, they just really were special. And it was a great atmosphere. And uh, I hope it was great for TV. We're going to take questions, please. Uh, let me know if you have questions so we can get the microphones to you. We'll start with Danny. Um, Vic, I'm Press Row. We were kind of, I guess, joking that it was kind of hard to believe that Madison was only 12th in her class on, on the rankings. I'm kind of wondering where she's at right now. Is it that just a product of her being on campus and blossoming really quick, or is this what you expected when she signed? Yeah, I fully expected it. Um, I knew what I was getting with her. She was somebody that I had to have. Um, and and I've, I've said this before, Danny, but I, I think it needs to be said again. Book gets Rory looks. You know, Rory's our point guard, and Rory obviously sets the table for a lot. But because Booker's on the floor, Rory's going to get an additional uh, opportunity, you know, during the course of the game. She's going to get multiple looks because she's on the floor. Um, she has such a, a great court vision and uh, to a fault sometimes. Um, and I got to get her to stop throwing the 50-50s. But other than that, I mean, kid ain't gone 40 minutes. She went 40 tonight. And um, it's exactly what I thought I was getting. I mean, I, the kid's special and an unbelievable kid too, by the way. She's just a great young lady, as all these kids are. But, man, she just wants to play. She wants to win. She loves basketball. And uh, and she's soaking it up. You know, she's a sponge. When you talk to her, when you coach her, she's a sponge. And uh, I, I think you got to love that about kids. Uh, Tyler DeLuca with the Committee Sports Group. Rory, Gino Ariema called you the best player that they've played on either side of the ball so far this season. For you, a productive game all around, really. What was what were you seeing out there that that? made it work and made everything flow? Because it didn't feel like there was a second that you weren't in control of this game tonight. Well, that means a lot coming from him uh, to start that off. Um, but honestly, without the teammates and how we punched first and uh, just executing that scout and Coach Schaefer knowing exactly what to do, every time I came down to court, he was ready with something. Um, that's how we won the game. And um, I'm just happy to be in this atmosphere right now. And I'm just want to say thank you to the fans. There's 10,000, 11,000. Um, so that just means a lot. We take that personal. And so thank you guys. Uh, for you, Coach, obviously two different teams compared to last year's meeting. What did you notice was the biggest difference in UConn's game this year than last year's? Well, I don't like to add her last year, you know, with me. Um, I think, again, uh, you had to deal with, with them you still had a great guard. Last year it was FUD. You didn't have Paige. This year we got Paige and don't have FUD. So very similar team. Um, and I, I just, uh, you know, again, uh, to me, having being able to put Rory on her and, and really be there on every catch, every turn, it just makes it, you know, you got to make kids work. You know, you, you, I think, again, she's such a great player. I mean, She's a great player. I mean, she's a freshman All-American, right? So you got to put a great player on her that understands the importance of Gardner and how to guard her. Like, there's a way you have to guard that team over there. You you, you cannot make mistakes and go under screens and, and uh, you know, be up the line and they'll flare you. I mean, you just – you have to play perfect. Like, you're going to lose the horse game when you play them. You, you, you're going to – you can't give them open looks. You have to have – People there on the catch, you have to contest shots. And then when you do that, you got to deal with, you know, Edwards and, and um, uh, 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 Griffin on the boards. Like, you got to find Griffin now. She's, you know, she's a, a – and I, I thought Amina was so good tonight. Like, Amina is that's a unique player because she can guard one through five. But – to me, the difference was uh, they're still, to me, they're still top ten team in the country. The difference is Rory was playing tonight, and we were able to guard them better than we did last time. We gave up 40 points in layups. 
They scored 40 points on layups last time we played them. We didn't press as much tonight because we didn't press them well last time. So we, we just tried to take that away. They still put their head down and drove it in the fourth quarter. But once we made the adjustment of handling that, I thought we were okay. But it just it's different when you got – like I can't wait to get Gaston because now it's my whole – pretty much my whole team back. And when I get all them back, we they'll have a chance to be pretty good if I don't screw them up. Madison, I'd asked you earlier in the season, you know, uh, when we spoke earlier in the season, you told me that you were still trying to find your role on this team. Do you think you found it now just with the string of games that you've been playing at a high level? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we talked about that earlier, just me kind of like found my confidence like within the team. I mean, we're in December now, and they have pushed me and pushed me to shoot the ball more, get to my spot and shoot the ball. So, I mean, I think I've pretty much like, found my role now, definitely, and found my confidence within my teammates. Yeah, Roy, just how much was last year's game on your mind going into this game that, you know, you obviously weren't able to play last year, this year you are going to be there? And also, whatever the records are, whoever's on the court, what does a win over UConn mean with what they've done in the game? First, um... Watching that game last year did sting a lot. Um, just having that injury early in the year, we hadn't even played a game yet, so it stung a lot. And um, I still think our team did pretty good. Just to not have your point guard um, in that important of a game is really good for my team. And then UConn's just a really good team. Uh, they're ranked 11. Um, probably should be ranked higher. They have great players, especially Paige, is somebody we really focus on um, in the scout. I just wanted to shout out our scout players and. Especially Brett, he ran her role and was chasing him everywhere. And everything that we worked on was what we got in the game. And so, but yeah, it's very important. I heard that this is our first time beating UConn ever. And so, um, I just want to say shout out to Coach Schaefer. Um, he, <laughs> he did everything in his, I mean, he gave us so much confidence um, um, this whole year. But especially throughout this week, he said we're good enough. We can do it. We have the players. Um, all we have to do is just focus on ourselves and execute. So. Well, Brett Hayden, um, yes, he's a manager right now, uh, practice player. Yeah, yeah so. Um, yes, he did. He ran his role. Yes, he ran her role and ran it perfectly. <laughs> Similar questions, so I'll ask Amina and Madison. Coach talked about this game might have proved some things to people outside the program. To beat a top 10 team in this kind of environment, what does this game do for you guys as far as building confidence here early in the season? Um, yeah, just playing one of the better teams in like in the nation. Definitely a well coached team too. I mean, just coming into the game, it was just finding my spot. Um, cause I think like the past couple of days, I, games I figured out my role like on the team. So just coming to this game, I knew my role. I knew what I had to do, and I just had to, like, to you know like follow the plan. Um, I feel like it built a lot of confidence throughout the whole team because a, pe a lot of people were saying that we haven't lost any games because we haven't played anyone, but now we've played someone. And Good job, Amina. Uh, Amina, let's go back to you again, please. Um, Rory said that Coach Schaefer instilled confidence in you guys throughout the week. Can you tell me how? And then Madison, can you tell me what it feels like to open a game on a run like you did, seven straight shots for the team? Found the bottom of the net. Y'all were up 15-3 when we blinked an eye. Um, I think he instilled a lot of confidence in us, like when our scout team was scoring us or we wouldn't take a charge on something. I mean, he would get on us, but he'll tell us that, like, you know, we can do it. We're a good team. I mean, we have the players. We have the key pieces. So, yeah. Um, um, uh, the, the running in the beginning of the first quarter, I mean, I was just thinking about what Coach Shaver told me. And, like, it's shooting around. He was like, don't pass the ball. Well, like he didn't say don't pass the ball, but he was like, don't pass up your shot. So I was thinking that back in my head. So I was like, green, like it's open. Like I'm going to make this. So I shot it. It went in. It felt good. I was hot. <laughs> um, going back to Amina, um, six offensive rebounds today, including one really big one late. Really you know, how much pride are you taking in that part of your game and just doing that part? Um, I feel like it's a key part of my game. I feel like it's something I really take pride in because, like, it's one of the things I'm really good at. So if you're really good at something, you got to take a lot of pride in it. you got to do it at your best. So, yeah. 
Amina's Amina's really grown a lot. She's she's such an energy player, and she's so unique in that she can guard one through five. But Kip plays hard, and she's really tough. Like she's got some toughness to her, and um, she's confident. She's growing in her confidence. She's growing with her shot. Um, went three for four to free throw line. I'm liking that. Um, so she's. For a young, you know, young player like her, she's really maturing and and I think playing with a lot of confidence. We run some stuff for, her, you know, and uh, she knows exactly her role and she is really good at it. Um, Amina and Madison, um, what do you guys think makes Rory such a great player besides what's obviously on the stat sheet? That she is a two-way player. Not most point guards are pretty offensive minded, but she can guard and score. And she has a really good mid-range, like really good. She plays hard for all 40 minutes. I think, like even before I came here, like I've noticed that and I wanted to play with her like ever since. Um, she makes the team go. She's literally like <laughs> like the head to our train, honestly. You know, when she slows down, we slow down. When she goes, oh, we're off. Oh, we're winning the game. Definitely. Hey, Coach, uh, throughout the season last year and coming into this season, I feel like every team eventually gets tired of playing man against you and then goes to zone. Uh, what do you feel the team has uh, done differently, especially in this game, rebounding, uh, actually making outside shots, uh, or just the confidence against playing against the zone? Well, again, I think I have a, a little bit older team, and I got we got some really good players. I mean – I don't think you want to turn your back on Booker. I think Rory worked extremely hard all summer on her shot. Um, we all know Shaylee and Shay. If you don't guard them, you're probably going to lose that horse game. So I, I just think we have more weapons. And then Amina, I mean, you better find her in the short corner because she's really good there and at the free throw line. So, y'all, it just helps to have good players. I mean, it's a whole lot more fun over there coaching when you're making shots. And I thought our kids, like I said, the execution, the level that we played at to open the game, I was a little concerned, I'll be honest with you, about opening the game, coming out. I had to tell them before we hit the floor, guys, just ladies, we've got to relax. This non-conference game, let's don't be all tied up. Because if we're all tied up when we go out there and we get punched first, it, it, we're going to be a punching bag all day. You've got to go out there and punch first, and you've got to execute. You can't be turning the ball over. And, I thought the first four things we ran, like boom, 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 we got great looks, we made shots. And once you start making shots, you relax. You know, it's fun. It's a lot more fun for me, trust me. And so I just think when you have kids that can do that, and again, they invest time in their craft. Um, and, and so when you do that, the game's real fair. The game is really fair, y'all. You get out of the game what you put into it. It's no deposit, no return. That's how it is. You make a deposit, you're going to get a return on it. So I just think from, from that standpoint, you know, um, we got some, some young ladies that have really made some deposits and investing in their craft. And, um, again, when you execute, we had nine turnovers today. It's pretty good. We forced 21. We took 24 more shots than they did. That's pretty good. You're going to have a chance to win every night when you do that. You don't do that standing around in a 2-3 zone playing hope you miss defense. You do that by playing your guts out every possession. And uh, I, I guess, like I said, these kids really laid it on the line tonight. So playing in an atmosphere like you did tonight, do you think that influences how you play, like as motivation or just seeing to support? I think like Mina said earlier about just we hadn't played a ranked team yet and a lot of people were questioning, even Coach said that, a lot of people were questioning us as a team. And for us to be able to come out and play against a ranked team, number 11, the way we did, it does give us a lot of confidence for the season. Uh, we, As a team, we already know what we have. You know, we don't want to talk about it too much. We want to put our head down, get to work when it comes to practice and whatnot. But um, – this definitely just gives us another level of confidence. So. Rory, I got one for you. Um, 
your X header is a picture of you. What I'm assuming is wearing an Allen Iverson jersey, but instead of Iverson, it says the answer on the back. Do you think you're that for this team? Because whenever the team needs a big bucket, the ball's in your hands. Honestly, Madison has some big buckets too tonight. Oh, I do. Allen Iverson is my idol, and I felt like that jersey to wear just for them. Beginning of our season was great, just to remind me that, just give myself confidence every once in a while. I am very hard on myself, and um, it's for a reason. Um, but honestly, I don't think I'm the answer because when I turn back and look to this game, yes, I did great on stats, but my teammates made me feel like I was on top of the world. You know, I always have to go back to them. They played so hard. I felt like I, I, I was doing some work, right? But I feel like everybody else was doing more work than me, honestly. Especially on the defensive end. I mean, I can't I can't thank them enough and I'm really happy for them.